we're going to have been in here in a few weeks. We're going to take a look at this hive. This hive has been a, building up pretty good, and it's, it's they're getting a lot more aggressive. So I'm going to try the I'm going to try these old beekeeping gloves here we picked up. I believe off of Craigslist or something here. I sprayed a little smoke in at the entrance. Got an upper entrance on this hive now. I don't know if I showed on video when I actually put that on here. Yeah. I've been in here a time or two since our last video, but uh, it seemed like the wind was always, it was always windy or, anyway, something was usually up so that it was difficult to make a video, so. Why you might notice the things have changed since the last video that you saw. Okay. The queen. back up into the hat however they choose to do it. Okay. Lay a little smoke down. Honey. right behind me is those shade over this high pretty early in the day not exactly something that I had thought about when I put this hive here so I'll probably end up moving it nice decent pattern of cat brood Yep, a bunch of cat brood on that side. I believe some of it's going to be emerging in the next day or so. 
It'll be building up. wax drawing mode to see all that white wax in there. I don't believe there's any eggs in there. this other queen in here but I'm gonna tell you what she is a laying little gal now all that cat brood and that's the same way on both sides all that cat brood pattern almost one end to the other for not being very talkative of course for some of you guys if you've watched some of my earlier videos that's probably a welcome change but uh, I'm just trying to concentrate a little more on what I'm doing because uh, I'm not kidding you when uh, I say these guys have gotten a lot hotter uh, they uh, actually it wasn't that long ago I was using my orange gloves and I was out here I don't know probably a week or so ago and uh, Every time I would reach in to pick up a frame after I after I spread them apart, every time I'd reach in there to pick up a frame, the bees, I guess it they either there was a scent on my gloves, the other gloves, or there was they had just learned to recognize the orange color. And I'm gonna tell you they would dart out at me every time I'd reach in for a frame. And uh It got so that uh, it was kind of difficult to uh, pay attention to what I was doing. They got to where they they figured out that uh, the little fabric on the back of them little orange gloves they could stink me through it. Some of these frames I've cut down to for narrow, to use what's called the narrow frame spacing for small, or not small cell, actually, but natural cell. And uh, that's why they don't fit in there just right. I didn't realize I had 10 in there. I had such a big gap left, I thought I had room for one more frame, but come to find out, I just had, uh, already had 10 of them in there. Oh. 
I need to grab your smoker. So I'm going to attempt to split is what I'm doing here. I'm pulling these frames of bees or some cat brood. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm trying to get me a, if they, if they have resources in here to make them a queen, that's okay too. But if not, I was going to try a little queen rearing and use this as a cell builder. That's a pretty strong box of bees. Oh, and I'm going to, oh, try to put it in there. Now what I plan to do is give them a day or two to get settled. They should stay in there because that's a lot of nurse bees on that with that cat brood and what have you. And there's plenty of honey in there on the frames. So what, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to let them get settled in there. 